As the world tries to stop the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine, we are reminded of all the times the world has promised to never forget. There's a memorial at the Colorado Capitol dedicated to the Armenian genocide, a memorial vandalized during the summer of 2020. This week, an artist came in from California to restore it. We are very honored as a community to have a place of memory for the Armenian Genocide on Capitol grounds. The Armenian Genocide was the World War I era destruction of 1.5 million Armenian citizens. My office sits right outside the monument. It was damaged quite a bit. Yeah, so <laughs> right now I think he is chiseling away some of the extra paint that's still left over the monument, even though he has completed most of it. It looks very different from, you know, the, the graffiti photo. I am cleaning this artwork. <laughs> For us, it was important to make sure we get it renovated, but also speak uh, for human rights for all and, and not take the vandalism out of context of what was happening at the time. It was great that, you know, some folks came and tried to uh, clean it up a little bit, but some of the cleaning further damaged it. Shusha took the sandpaper off. It's like the same type of work as for dentists. You need to be careful, especially with the small pieces. And after consultation with the original artists in Armenia, we learned that the only way to renovate it is actually to carve out another layer, to have another sculptor basically uh, re remake the monument. I think it's great that they're restoring it. Yes, as it was a soup goat. While I'm renovating it, cleaning it, I'm feeling very touched. And I'm feeling very touched, especially when I understand that people will see it and it will touch their feelings as well. We're hoping it will serve an important educational tool to Coloradans as they visit the capital to learn about our history, which includes the history of the different immigrant communities that have made Colorado home. A look through the lens of our photojournalist Corky Scholl at some incredibly painstaking work that we're told finished up this evening.